Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen. Uh, the channel that brings you your team every single day. The channel that keeps you up to date with all the latest goings on at the best club in the world, the greatest, the most successful club in the world. Let's even be more precise about this, Glasgow Rangers. Now, guys, this channel is here for you. It is run by fans, for you, the fan, by myself, um, and obviously the wonderful Victoria Searle, as you can see pictured there. Victoria is obviously involved with NASA at this moment in time, so he's very busy with that. But uh, obviously we bring you the channel, we bring you your team every day, we bring you news every day. And if you want that channel every day, not channel every day, but the news every day. Come on, focus, Owen. It's been a long day, but yeah. Uh, then hit the sub, ring the notification bell, and give the video a like, guys. It does help out. And also remember, you can join for as little as 99p. Um, it's down below there to hit the join button, or you can go to the channel homepage and hit the join button. At present, we have 26 uh, members of our channel. There are there they are, some fantastic, uh, loyal loyal people glasgow rangers nation loyals come on all the uh, podcasts come on all the videos comment all the time um, as well as obviously pay their 99 pence a month to be a part of the channel so thank you to all of those people uh, on that image there okay so let's talk about jose cifuentes so obviously it seemed that you know just a few months ago that uh well, a few weeks ago, even sorry, that this deal would be done uh, as soon as basically that uh, Cifuentes would be arriving at Rangers, we'd be unveiling him, and that would be another signing to bring to the club this um, this off season, obviously. Uh, so Cifuentes looks like you know it looked like it was going to happen. It all looked to be in place. It all looked to be getting along quite nicely, and then hey. It all seems to go a bit quiet and nothing seems to be happening. So let's have a look at the story, shall we? That's what we're going to talk about. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's what happened, what is happening, and reasons for what is happening. Why, you know, what could be going on behind the whole Cifuentes deal. So now Fabrizio Romano, obviously, who is the Italian transfer guru, the man that seems to be in the know, uh, Obviously, he tweeted out that the con the interest was concrete and a deal was close. Um, you know, and other outlets even suggested, you know, that the deal was finalised for Cifuentes. Um, an Ecuadorian football site even said that you know that uh, the deal could be uh, concluded very soon and offered a timeline for it. Uh, there was also an Ecuadorian uh, timeline called Mister Offsider. I think is a fantastic name for a football blog. Uh, obviously, we're going to stay away from jokes on that one. I'm sure there's many of you can make a joke about uh, who is Mr. Offsider in the Rangers squad. Um, now, the 24-year-old's contract, obviously, status does make things very complicated. So, the MLS season runs very differently to a, to a European season, obviously. So, the contract with LAFC for Cifuentes, as we know, runs to December. So he's not at a contract till December. So if Rangers want to sign him at this point in time, they would need to agree a fee with LAFC. Now, it appears that there is that is the stumbling block over the fee. So the transfer window is obviously, as we know, is now officially open. And obviously Rangers are free to try and sign the dynamic midfielder. The, you know, the guy who he's a, he seems to be a really good midfielder, someone who can get stuck in, you know, can pass, uh, you know, very forward thinking, good energy goes box to box. You know, it does seem to be that all round midfielder, someone who would certainly add to the midfield with Nicholas Raskin, Ryan Jack, Todd Cantwell and many others. But if Rangers want to secure him now, they need to obviously agree a fee with LAFC for the player. But if they wait until the close to the 1st of July, uh, when Jose Cifuentes will be available a pre-contract agreement, Rangers wouldn't have to pay as big a fee. Now, it is felt that that could be the case, that Rangers are waiting until the 1st to July to get a pre-contract done with him and then try to force FC to accept a smaller fee than they would perhaps be asking for at this point as Rangers obviously try to make that transfer budget go that little bit further 
this uh, this off season. That certainly seems to be the plan. So that seems to be what is happening. That, that you know that they're waiting to the first of July. They're trying to extend that little bit of the thing. Now LFC have kind of course you know caused problems over this. Can become obstinate and, and not agree, and they can refuse to sell uh, Sifuentes and just wait to let his contract run out. But would this not be a bit of cutting your nose off to spite your face? Because you know they they wouldn't get anything for him there. Is that something they they'd rather do? They'd rather get him go for nothing than actually give them get a cut price fee and not what they wanted. Now, it does look like Sefentes could be the final piece in Michael Beale's midfield jigsaw, with obviously Kieran Dow being previously announced. Um, Rangers manager Michael Beale has been very precise in the fact that he does want his players in as early as possible, and his hope was to have as many deals done by the 30th of June, which obviously is only 15 days away now, um, you know, to bring players in, be ready for pre-season. And obviously, you know, it seems that Sam Lammers is very close to doing that. However, he did say in that press conference he gave, um, you know, that he said that one or two might take a little bit longer. So was he alluding at the fact that someone like Sefuentes could be come a bit after that 30th of June, uh, beginning to pre-season? Could that be the case? So, you know, it's all a little bit up in the air. And it seems that, that you know, that the stumbling block at the moment is whether or not Rangers are willing to pay, pay the fee now for the player or whether to wait to the 1st of July, take a risk that someone else doesn't come in for him, get a pre-contract done and agree a cut price fee. That seems to be where we're at this moment with the Cifuentes deal. Now, Ecuador play their final international fixture of this international break on the 21st of June. Now, some some sources in Ecuador are saying that the transfer will be concluded after the 21st of June once Cifuentes is done with international duty, going against that 1st of July pre-contract agreement. So it's all a little bit up in the air in terms of where that would be. Now, if Rangers do decide to try and play hardball over the player and, and you know try and force it to the 1st of July, there is a huge risk, obviously, that someone else comes in, swoops, takes him away, and then we lose out. Then we're cutting our nose off to spite our face. So Rangers have got to make a decision very soon as to what they want to do. Um, you know, he has looked very good. You know, he was a player that, uh, you know, had a six million pound price tag on his head at one point, you know, when he was under contract and had a couple of years to run on his deal. You know, my personal opinion is that, you know, if if uh, if Cifuentes is the player that Michael Beal wants, then, you know, we need to stop taking chances. We don't need to obviously wonder about uh, where, you know, wonder wonder and worry about this 1st of July deadline. Get the deal done now, get it signed off, get it sealed, get it done after that 21st of June international. And then he's there for the start of pre-season. You're not risking losing him to an EPL club or another club coming in and stealing him from under our noses. That, for me, is the best way forward. So what do you think, guys? Do you think it's better to go in now or would you wait until the 1st of uh, July and try and get him on a cheaper deal what what is the thinking like i said i hope rangers are not going down the cheapskate alley i hope we're going to go down the let's get it done let's get it signed let's get him in and let's obviously get him working with the squad well as always it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you all here on glasgow rangers nation keep looking out for the videos dropping best way obviously is to subscribe hit that uh, notification button set it to all so you don't miss out on any of the great daily content and you, like i said you can also join the channel as well thank you so much for watching we are the people